I am Mark Turner, president of the Gilroy Chamber of Commerce, and we're back doing our Why Gilroy segment. And today we're talking to Mike Brownfield, who is the owner of the Vacuum Center of Gilroy. And they are located at 7463 Monterey Street in downtown Gilroy. Mike, thanks for being with us. We appreciate you uh, joining us this morning to talk a little bit about you, yourself and your business. Uh, before we get started, though, Mike, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, thank you, Mark. Um, wow. Um, <laughs> met my wife in high school and we uh, started dating, got married, all that stuff, and was working in the groceries business for many years. And now we're doing vacuum stuff, uh, selling and repairing vacuums. Uh, been married this next month will be 47 years to Eva. We have two great kids, uh, Lacey and Chad. Just, just uh, it's been a neat journey so far. Well, that's terrific. Don't forget you have a dog that, uh, a grand, grand dog, whatever you want to call it, but yes. anytime you go into the store, the dog is there to greet you. So yes. uh, a great yeah. addition to the family. Yeah. Jake is with me about 95% of the time. He's in the store every day and uh, follows me everywhere. Yeah. Well, Mike, how long have you been in the, uh, in the business? Uh, we'll be this summer, August will be 42 years here in Gilroy, the same location. Wow, that's that's a long time in any industry. Yeah. Forty years, but that's terrific. Yes. Wait, what what actually what got you started in the vacuum cleaner business? Well, my uh, <clears throat> my father-in-law. A quick little story is that in 1959, or excuse me, in 57, he got in a motorcycle accident, lost his leg, couldn't go back to work at the railroad, so started selling vacuums, and. In 59, he had a store here in Gilroy on 1st Street, and then 61, he moved to Salinas, and and my wife was working for him all through school. We met in high school, and when he sold his store, she stayed home for a few weeks, but didn't like that, so she wanted to open her own store, and we looked around a lot of different towns, Monterey, Watsonville, and we ended up here in Gilroy. We bought a little vacuum store, and it's been a, it's been a great little thing, great community. Uh, got to know everybody, been a lot of fun. Well, you had mentioned earlier that your, when your dad, after the accident, he went into selling Kirby, was it Kirby vacuum cleaners? Did I hear that right? Yes. Kirby and was that, was that sort of a, was that a, like a door to door type salesperson or did he? Yes, it was. Yes. They, they're still out there door to door, but yes, it was a door to door deal. And then he had a crew of people working for him. He'd run six, eight guys, and they'd go out there and knock doors, and they sold a lot of machines. So he was quite the entrepreneur. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Kind of, and I think Eva got a lot of that from from her dad as to wanting to run her own business and and be her own boss, and and it, it's worked very well over the years, and and she's taught me well. <laughs> yeah. Well, interesting story about your father-in-law, the fact that he had had uh, that sort of a devastating accident, but that didn't slow him down or stop him. Not at he all. He still had a lot of determination and drive. That's a great, that's a great success story in and of itself. Yeah. So, Mike, why, why did you guys choose Gilroy? Well, we were looking for an, an existing store, and there just happened to be one here, but I really liked the weather. I grew up in Salinas. Uh, I thought every day at three o'clock, four o'clock, the fog came in everywhere. No, that's not true. Here in Gilroy, six o'clock at night, it's still 90 degrees. It's fantastic. Uh, and so we, we stayed here. And back then, housing, housing prices were a lot less. They were affordable. And uh, so kind of, we kind of migrated north a little bit. I would assume over this number of years, you've met a lot of people, made a lot of friends here in Gilroy? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, with all the folks coming into the store, meeting them, uh, the kids in all the sports that they played. Oh my goodness, we played soccer and little league and basketball, and we've met some really neat people. And and those kids, they're still friends today with my son and daughters. They're uh, a special, special, neat group of folks up here. Now you also said that you've been in the same location. I'm assuming that is in the downtown where you're currently at. Yes, in the exact same building. We, uh, we did remodel it about, oh gosh, almost 15 years ago. We tore down our old uh, unreinforced masonry and built this new building and um, pretty neat, yeah. 
Well, you've certainly then seen the ebbs and flows of, uh, of Gilroy's downtown. What was, what was downtown like in its heyday? Oh, when we first got here, it was department stores down here. We had Ford, Senior David's, Dick Bruins, shoe stores, little clothing stores, uh, five and dimes. Your essential little downtown USA, downtown cities. Uh, Bonanza Day Parade, just all the neat little stuff. And then it started changing over the years, but every time it has come back. It's, it's re-involved to something, maybe it was antique stores at one time. Now it's more little boutiques and little shops and, and getting more restaurants in right now. Uh, we're starting to see a lot of that. And I think that's where the downtown's headed now. Yeah, which is great news. But Mike, what do you see as far as opportunities ahead for you in your business or your industry? Wow. Uh, well, our industry, we'll take that part first. With the online sales, it's making it a little tougher. You know, you got to be sharp. You got to know what the, what everybody else is selling something for. And you got to, you got to be aware of that. But more important for us is what we can do for our customers, what we can bring to the table. We can service their machine. We can educate them on the different types of machines. If they come into our store, they can try out 80 to 90 different machines on different types of flooring, which is important because some people have hardwood, some people have thick carpet, so everything in between. That's where we stand uh, from the big box stores and the online. You can actually hands-on, try it, see how you like it before you ever decide which one is right for you. Well, that's, that is true. I mean, online may be convenient, but when you're talking about uh, something like a vacuum cleaner, like you mentioned, different floors, carpet, hardwood, whatever that might be. You can't try that out online. So uh, no, yeah, exactly. coming downtown, sure. yeah, yep. there is something about uh, the experience of going in and, and, and shopping in person, not to mention especially shopping local. And we always like to try to encourage our residents to, you know, especially now coming out of the situation we've been in for three and a half months, and that is really to stay loyal, stay yep. local, and support Gilroy. Mike, if somebody is looking to purchase a vacuum cleaner from you, uh, what are your hours? Oh, we're here. <clears throat> we're closed Sunday and Monday, Tuesday through Friday. We're here from 9 to 5.30, and then Saturday, 10 to 4. I've cut the hours back just a little bit. Uh, starting to take a little more time off now, so uh, that's kind of important to us now at this point. Well, after 42 years, it's much deserved. Thank Again, you. uh, your store is located at 7463 Monterey Street in downtown. If somebody wanted to call you, uh, what's the best number to reach you at? 408-842-8728. Mike, again, thank you for being with us today on this segment of Why Gilroy. We appreciate people watching, and, and uh, Mike, appreciate you participating with us. Uh, I'm Mark Turner with the Gilroy Chamber of Commerce. Great. Thank you, Mark.